4 and verse 4. So, you know, no, this is the image of the beast. This is not Jesus, all right? Come on, listen to this. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. So this was the false Christ that the Europeans put throughout the earth. That's not Jesus. This is what, after they enslaved us, they told us this was Jesus. And now our children and a lot of old people have this uh, around their neck. They think this Jesus. This ain't him. Come on. And false prophets. And what? And false. Hold on, hold on. Read that again. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. So false Christ and false prophets shall arise. This is Matthew 24. This is Jesus Christ himself speaking about the end times. Come on. It shall show great signs and wonders. All right, they were going to show great signs and wonders, all right? Such as enslaving us, all right? And um, and teaching us that he is the Christ, all right? Come on. Bring it out. For there shall rise false Christ and false prophets, and shall, and, sh and shall show great signs and wonders, and so much that if it were possible. So listen to this. It says, and so much that if it was possible, come on. They shall deceive the very elect. Should deceive the very elect. Who's the elect? The Israelites. The Israelites. Give me Isaiah chapter uh, 45. I believe it's verse 4. Alright. So who is the elect? Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect. So Israel is God is God's elect. All right. Who are the Israelites? How you doing, brother? You, huh? All right, peace. All right. So you know who the Israelites are today? All right. Who are the Israelites? Huh? Okay. Okay. So the Israelites are God's chosen people, which came from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? Actual fact, but you gotta understand the way the Bible was interpreted, right? That the way it was given to us, the scripture was given to us by our slave masters. It's interpreted to keep us in a sub subjugated manner. I right, give me Deuteronomy 28. Let's listen, listen to this. Yeah, yeah. You, hey, the way they taught us, the way these people taught us the Bible, black people have become atheists. All right, they don't understand the Bible. All right, and they 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 don't understand who God or His Son is because of white supremacy have destroyed the earth, right? right so right. listen to this right quick. How we know the Bible is a true book, all right? Listen to this. This is how we know we're the Israelites, brother. Just um, just listen up for a second. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So it shall come to pass, meaning this was going to happen in the future, right? Listen. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God told us if we did not listen to him, right? Just like you have children and you tell your children, look, hey, if you don't listen to me, I'm going to punish you. If you listen to me, I will do good things for you. God said if we did not listen, come on. To observe, to do all his commandments. All right, so we have to learn all God's commandments and do them. Why? Because we come out of Egypt. And in Egypt, we learned the ways of the Egyptians. And now when we go on the other side of the uh, of the um, of the sea, all right, and we get in the wilderness, God said that if we did if we still if we continue to do the ways of the Egyptians, what will happen? And his statues, which I commanded this day. That all these curses, all these what? Curses. God said he was going to curse us. How you think we ended up here? How you think we ended up here because God cursed us? Good things don't happen to us here. We are in the curse because we continue to break God's law, statutes, and commandments. Come on, I'm gonna get you. I, I know you got something to say. You just, just hold on right quick. That all, the, all these curses shall come upon thee. All these curses was going to come upon who? The Israelites. Come on. And overtake thee. I mean, you can't run from them. Verse 32. How we know we're the Israelites? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. This happened to us for our disobedience. The transatlantic slave trade. Right. Yeah, this go. stuff is recorded in the Bible. All right, that's come on. Wake yeah, up. there it is right there. Our sons and daughters on, was given unto another people. They only happened to the Israelites. Come on. And thy eyes shall look. And as a grown big black man like you are, you couldn't do nothing about it. All he can do what? Shall look, all you can do is look, come on, and fail with longing for them. All you can do is cry and want your baby back. This is how you know that we the Israelites, without a shadow of a doubt, right. come on. 
all the day long. All the day long, you can cry, but guess what? Your baby got sold until into Jackson, Mississippi, right. or to New Orleans, right. or to Memphis, Tennessee. Right. But nothing you can do about it. This is how we know that the Bible is the only true book. No other book on earth can prophesy or uh, 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 to tell what was going to happen to a certain group of people right. in a certain dispensation of time. All right, come on. And there, and there, when you got off the slave ship, no, no, where you are, you come on. And there shall be no might in thy hand. And there was going to be no power in your hand. I don't give how many bells of hay you can lift. How, if you can pull a whole wagon, you can pull a, whole, uh, a wagon like a mule. It was no power in your hand to do what? To get our children back. Right. This is how we know we're the Israelites. Yep. Give me verse uh, um, 46. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. Yeah. This is how we know the Bible is the only true book. All right, come on. And they, shall, and they talking about these curses, what? Shall be upon thee for a sign. These curses are going to be upon us today for a sign. This is how we know that we are the true children of Israel. We are the direct descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Come on. And for a wonder. And for a wonder, come on. And upon thy seed. All right, we are the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Come on. Forever. Forever. Come on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God. Because we didn't want to serve God. We wanted to continue to serve the Egyptian gods. We wanted to continue to serve uh, uh, Sobek. We want to continue to serve Anubis, our self, self. We want to continue to serve Egyptian God. Don't go nowhere, bro. Listen, every time I say something about Egypt, you don't agree. All right? Hey, bro, great big bro. Come here, man. Don't run off. I'm on the sound schedule, baby. Uh -huh. I got to finish something. All right, listen to this right quick. Listen to this. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Because we didn't want to serve God. We walk off from God. This is why black people will continue to be enslaved. This is why black people will continue to stay in the lower state. Because our people hate the word of God. They want to choose every way but God. Come on. For the abundance of all things. Okay, you say what? And this is why we at the bottom of society. We reading out of the Bible. All right. God said what? For the abundance of all things. See, we didn't we want to go to we didn't want to go to God for the abundance of all things. Come on. Therefore, now God said, now therefore, come on, shall thou serve thy enemy. Now we as a people gotta serve our enemies. Y'all pay attention. For what? Which the Lord shall send against thee. How you think the white man knew to come get us? How you doing, little sister walking out right there and bro? How you doing? Y'all come back for a second. Come on, listen. And hunger. And hunger. Now we the only people got to go to our enemies yeah. for hunger. He asked, can the white man and, be saved? Can the white man be saved? Yeah. Hell no. Really? Saved from what? I'm from uh, from hell, I guess. That's a good question. Watch this. Let's, oh, let's keep reading this right quick. Deuteronomy 28, then we'll go to that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Because we didn't want to serve God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. Pay attention. For the abundance of all things, therefore shall I serve thy enemy. God said, therefore now, man, we got to go serve our enemies. Now, who are the enemies of God? Now, you ask your question. Who are the enemies of God? Read it again. Listen to this. Therefore shall I serve thy enemies. All right, so now God said we got to serve our enemies. Listen. Which the Lord shall send against thee. And God was going to send our enemies against us. We was in the western coasts of Africa. We started in Jerusalem. We fled deeper into Africa until our enemies caught us. Right. Come on. And hunger. Now we got to go to our enemies if you get hungry. You got to go to the 7-Eleven. Who on that? You got to go to Walmart. Who on that? Kroger's. Who on that? Chattels. Logan's. Uh -huh. Texas Roadhouse. You get hungry, God said you got to go to your enemies. Come on. And then thirst. So you get thirsty. To get that Deer Park water, we got to go to our enemies. Sprite, Coca-Cola, Hennessy, Gin, Seagrams. Come on. And then nakedness. And then what? And in nakedness. To get the raw textiles, to get the clothing we have, we have to go to our enemies to get that. All right? Come on. And in want of all things. Now, in want of all things, we got to go to our enemies. Like a driver's license, just drive on stolen roads. You know what I'm saying? Like like a, a, a birth certificate. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a death certificate. You got to get permission from your enemy to get buried. You die, you just can't get put in your backyard. You got to get permission from your enemy to get buried. Toothpaste, to brush your teeth, to make your teeth look good, you got to go to your enemies. Right. Guess what? Some meat gets stuck in your teeth, you got to go to your enemies to get a damn toothpick. Right. If, you're, if you're, you, you use the bathroom, you got to go to the enemy to wipe your ass. Right. You see that? We got to go to our enemies for the want of all things. All right, I'm going to ask you a question. Hold on. 
And he. And this enemy is a what? And he. And God said this enemy is a he. Come on. So put a yoke of iron upon Listen thy neck. This. Look at this, bro. It says, and he shall do what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Now, who put this on our necks? Bring it out. Bring it out. Jamestown, Virginia, stepped out the slave ship. Who put this on our necks? Bring it out. White people. Yes, now, let me ask you quick. You think God going to save them for doing this? You think they need saving for doing this? All the rape, murder, how they robbed us? Bring it out. You think God going to save them? Bring it out. Let's see. Was that it? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Until we was destroyed. Until we done, we do not know who we are anymore. We have no, we stripped from our language. We've been stripped from our God. Stripped from our dietary law. Stripped from our dress code. Stripped from everything. Right. Stripped from our land. So, understand something. The physical yoke came off. That's why it says, until he destroyed thee. Until Abraham Lincoln said, I'm going to sign the Emancipation Proclamation. All right? Until now, there's a spiritual yoke around your neck. So, um, all right? Again, remember when I was mentioning you earlier, I was taught that, you know, as a young man growing white up, people white, slave white people went to slave their chains on too. To hell with the white man. I mean, but, I mean, but the truth that, is. Now, listen to this. To hell with the white man. Name me one went on a slave ship. Give me six to eight. Give me six to eight. So what? They went on slave ship. They gonna go, hey, guess what? They going back into slavery. So what? But, but look, they ain't going slavery the way we went. And what happened is you got big, grown, grown strong black bucks is what they used to call you. You a big, strong black buck still worrying about master. To hell with master. Listen to this, bro. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And, 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 hey, and we, we feel you, bro. Hey, listen, bro. Listen to me. To hell with that. Listen to me. Listen to God. All right, listen to this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. God said he was going to bring us into slavery again. How? With ships. Now name me some white people that went into slavery on ships uh, you own. Real quick, when you say bring us to Egypt again, are you talking about America? Yes, that's exactly what it's talking about. Read that right quick. From over there came back to America? Listen, watch this. That's a good question. So when the Bible is speaking, God speaks in a metaphor. And he speaks in parables and similitudes. Here he's using Egypt as a similitude because in the book of, what was we at? Deuteronomy, we were delivered out of Egypt, right? He told us, do not learn the ways of the Egyptians. Now he said, when he delivered us, he said, you're going to go back into Egypt. Come on. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Say, he brought us out of the land of Egypt. Come on. Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous for what? <laughs> Start with the B. He just said it. Read it again. Out of the house of bondage. So you're saying Egypt is not a, a place on only in certain references. That's what you're saying. That's exactly right. That's what you're saying. Now you're so. getting it. So when he says he's going to bring us back into Egypt, back into bondage, another word for bondage is what? Slavery. All right? Another word for slavery is captivity. Another word for captivity is oppression. Do you agree? All right, so God said that we disobeyed him, that we was going to go back into oppression again. Read it again in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he was going to bring us back into bondage, back into oppression again. But this time, you know, we walked in Egypt the first time, right? Are you familiar with the Bible? Joseph got sold, then we walked into Egypt. All right, listen. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. That he was going to bring us back into bondage again with but this time, how? Huh? With ships. With ships. The white man ain't been nowhere on the cargo slave ship. But he came to pick us up, but he didn't go in bondage. Do you understand? What is the nation? What is the nation? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Ha!
Let's run! 